Mm. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> May I introduce myself? I am Ryan Ellis, director, producer, and interlocutor for this series of sit-downs. In other words, what there is around here, Lee is, and I put you in the room to see and hear it. Several of Lee's best stories have not been told as of yet. However, Lee and I assure you, you will hear one of Lee's best stories before the night is over. Trust me, you will enjoy this series. I thank you very, very much. And now, for the eyes, ears, and voice of Detroit music from the mid to late 20th century, Mr. Lee Kennedy. How you doing, sir? Hey, Ryan. How you doing, man? Doing all right. Yeah, doing all yeah. right. Hey, Lee. Is this true or false? You have to listen to a lot of music if you're going to be in a band, but you have to listen to even more music if you're going to run a record store. Yeah, you got to eat. Man, you hear so much music. There's always somebody coming at you. It become your, you know, you heard basketball players. When they want to play basketball, they go to bed. They take basketball with them. I think Michael Jordan used to do that. In my house, music played 24-7. Upstairs, downstairs, basement. I had a real drill. It never stopped. Hmm. It'd be music all day long. Even though t- watch television too, but you get immune to that. And like in the store, music played, and I still had television in my office. I kept up with music. It was called My Sanctuary or something like that. Yeah. Your home was your musical sanctuary. Right. It's everything to me. When you're lonely, you listen to music. you sad, you listen to music. Girl put you down, you listen to music. They got something for you out there. Everybody got a song to sing, you know? Hopefully a good one. <laughs> they all green came by less stay to get everybody breaking up then and he came in that record soul man he came out with the right tune everybody breaking up at that time and the green said let's stay together and he came in from some parts of michigan up he's coming to store every saturday wow so music is always everything Tell me about Al Green coming into your store every Saturday. Well, he would come down every, every Saturday. He would talk to my employees. He was much younger than I was. He wasn't coming to see me. The girls, I had girls working, ladies, young ladies working there. I call them girls. He'd been talking to them, and then he came out with a record, that kind of thing. But everybody would come through there, and they would come down there because they would stand around because you don't know who you might come in the store while you're there. So many people have been in the store, and artists come in, and they sign autographs, and they get excited. I told you about that. I was at Cobra Hall and introduced one of my customers to John Coltrane. He like almost passed out. <laughs> Kid from Canada. Some people get excited about that. Ah! 